Welcome back to Sledgehammer Horror, guys. I am Ken Sledge. And I'm Ashley Sledge. And let's talk horror. Now, today we are joined by the amazing Nahia Lajoie, uh, Jackson Turner, and Darren Dang. How are you guys doing tonight? We're doing great. great. Awesome. <laughs> what, what I will doing say awesome. about these three, these are three people you would love to go to a Halloween party with. Um, and not just that, but uh, Nahia, I, I knew her name, so did Ashley, before we even started oh, yeah. this. We, we didn't, didn't even have to ask. We didn't. We completely pronounced it all correctly on first attempt, so good it's for true. us. Yeah, one <laughs> consonant followed by the two double vowels. <laughs> it's very easy for all English speakers. Yeah. Right, right. Um, so a little bit about them, obviously. We want to talk about why you guys are here, but let's start with you first, Darren. Can you give us a little bit of background about you? Yeah, um, sure. Um, hi guys. I am my name is Darren Dang. Um, I've been an actor for around five-ish years now, and um I play the zombie in the movie Isley Pines. See, and we're gonna show you guys a trailer here in a little bit because I know you're like, Ken, why are you talking about a Halloween party in March? Trust me, <laughs> it ties in and you guys I'm foreshadowing. I'm trying to get it down. Um now, well, what about you, Nahia? Can you tell us a little bit about you? All right. First and foremost, Halloween is all year round, in my opinion. Yeah. Also, also in the opinion of my 19 month old. So, yes, well, <laughs> I'm Nahia Lajwa. I play the witch in Islene Pines, and I am also a working mom. So every now and then, for those watching, you might see a little head pop up. And for those <laughs> listening, you will definitely hear my son. And yeah, Halloween baby all year round. Yes, hey, I agree with that. Sledgehammer 100%. Horror is all about family. That's what we are all about. So we're very excited to have you and your 19-month-old beautiful child with you as well. And we're all about Halloween all year long. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we got the the looks of the operation, Jackson Turner. Jackson, how you doing <laughs> yes. tonight? I'm great, Ken. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Jackson Turner. Uh, I've uh, been an actor for a couple of years now, and I play the vampire in Isling Pines. Uh -huh. See, and I'm so excited. And anybody that's been a fan of the channel, which I hate that term, but anybody that's watched the channel before, you know Matt Fessel. And we've had him on a couple times. He's a good friend of ours. And Isleen Pines yeah. is part of his brainchild. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody is not a fan of Matt, I hear. Um, <laughs> I think he was a naysayer. No, I heard Matt. He heard Matt and he was like, oh, this guy takes my mommy away all the time, damn it. Um, <laughs> There are you stories know, about that, too. That'll come up. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> you know, Matt hit us up. It was like, hey, um, I got this new film coming out, Isley and Pines, and Ash and I jumped on the opportunity to be able to talk about this. But a little bit about the film. A group of friends get together for their annual Halloween party, um, but are interrupted by mysterious visitors. Like now, maybe a zombie. Possibly. Maybe, maybe a witch. Maybe you a could witch. have a zombie, a witch, a vampire. We don't know because we haven't seen the film. Right. So let's just talk about that a little bit. Um, let's. I'm going to start with you first this time, Nikki. I'm going to go in like kind of a weird order here. Uh, how did you get involved with the project? All right. So I worked on a film called Alien Planet, directed by Alan Maxson, who is also friends with uh, the two Matts and Alexis. And uh, it's it was an amazing crew. It was an awesome production. It was also in the vein of horror sci-fi, which is apparently a niche of mine. Very happily about that. Um, and uh, while we were filming, uh, so I was a I was a puppeteer on that production, and it was my first time ever puppeteering. That's also a long story. And uh, they actually approached me, and they're like, "Oh, you know, you'd be you'd be kind of rad as the witch for this other horror feature that we're doing. Uh, would you be interested in auditioning?" And I mean, I very much believe that you know good people beget good people and then that begets good work and that's honestly what this production was i mean darren and jackson like we just clicked from day one it already felt like we were friends forever so mm -hmm. it was really it was so seamless and yeah that's how that's how it came to be from another set and probably mm -hmm. on to the next one after this let's be real yeah that's awesome when you can like be friends right away and I'm sure it makes it easier on set when you know you it feels so close. Well, especially when you're doing a horror movie and you're doing all these heavy things and yeah. you can see from the trailer, which you guys will see here in a little bit, that it is very heavy. There's a lot of heavy scenes, there's a lot of great practical effects. 
So when you can get along with your co-stars and you're able to have this kind of a feng shui like with everybody, think, yeah. you know, it's a lot better. But now that you've told us that, Nahia, I'm questioning if that really is a baby or if that's your puppeteering work coming to life. Now. <laughs> She's <laughs> really good at that. This is my yeah, baby. I <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I, I swear, <laughs> this is, yeah, totally my baby. That would be really impressive if I could be a ventriloquist and do this at the same time. I mean, I know oh, people yeah. do. Oh. I was going to say having you have you make like those sounds while you were talking that is next That's level impressive. Oh, yeah. that really <laughs> i just you know i am that good guys <laughs> <laughs> so jackson how did you get involved with the project yeah so uh i've known matt and alexis for geez i don't even know how long at this point we've worked on things on and off uh we had worked on hacked and uh, hack two together um Geez, when was that? The year before, I think we shot uh, Isling Pines. So we've worked together before. We've been friends for a long time, um, collaborate on different projects and things like that all throughout college and high school and things like that. So we've been super close and, you know, this opportunity came along and uh, I'm just super fortunate that I was able to, one, be a part of this project that I know Matt and Alexis have worked on for so, so, so long. But also mm -hmm. get to work with Darren and Nahia and absolutely right, Nahia. Like it was just smooth sailing from day one. Like awesome. it just just clicked. Yeah. It's it's amazing. And it's funny because I met Matt because of my interest in hacked. That's mm -hmm. how we had initially met him. And then we went from that to like the Shadow Marsh thing and mm -hmm. you know, being able to, you know, be a part of his life. Like I seen hacked and I was a fan. Mm -hmm. And Ashley was like, well, we should try to get him on here. And that happened. And ever since then. I've gotten to meet these other amazing people yeah. that have been a part of his projects because I agree with what you said. Good people brings good people. Right. And so if I get the chance to work with you guys and pick your brains about these projects, that means a lot to us mm -hmm. because we're fans of the genre. That's what we're here for is, you know, I'm not doing this to get a paycheck. She's not doing this to get a paycheck. We're doing this because of our genuine love of the genre. So we know how we got the witch. We know how we got the vampire, mm -hmm. but we got to have a zombie, right? It, absolutely. So Darren, how did you get attached to the project? Um, compared to Nahia and Jackson, I'm actually one of the newer additions to, uh, to, uh, Matt's, Matt's network. I actually applied for the role of the zombie on, um, a casting site backstage. And, mm -hmm. um, and then Matt and Alexis sent me a request for a self tape, um, with, uh, three, uh, three scenes that I absolutely adored. Um, sent it in, and they loved me enough to bring me on the project. So awesome. absolutely grateful for it. And um, yeah, just like what Jackson and Nahia said, um, coming on and meeting everyone, it felt like um, we've been working together for so long. And yeah, walking away, I was just so absolutely grateful to meet every person on that project. And um, yeah, really hoping for more opportunities in the future. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And I do want to say real quick, because I do not mean any, any type of disrespect to Alexis. I just haven't had the privilege of meeting Alexis yet. Mm -hmm. So I know Alexis is just as important to this as Matt. I just haven't had the opportunity to get in contact. So whenever I talk about our friendship with Matt, it's not a slight towards Alexis at all. I want people to understand that. Yeah. I respect Alexis. I know Alexis is extremely hardworking, extremely intelligent, and does so much behind the scenes. And Ashley and I respect that so much. Mm -hmm. I just haven't had the personal privilege to meet and converse with Alexis yet. So again, Alexis, if you're watching this, I don't mean any disrespect when I over talk about Matt. <laughs> I just I just know him. That's all it is. Yeah, she, she's unloading the gun now, Billy Madison style. <laughs> yeah. I called that girl. To Alexis's credit, too, I mean, she is always so incredibly busy. Obviously, we all keep in touch after production, but she is constantly working on so many different uh, features and so many different capacities. I mean, she's a makeup artist. She's a special effects artist. And obviously she, you know, wrote, directed Isleen Pines. Mm -hmm. So she wears so many hats yeah. and she's just one of these multi-hyphenate, incredibly talented people. So, I mean, it's like, hey, yeah, I haven't met you, Alexis, because she's so busy being a boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. She doesn't have time for you, Ken, okay? Well, no, <laughs> that's, no. that's really the real story. My thing is, let her continue to be a boss oh, yeah, bitch because absolutely. she's doing amazing she things. She is. And yeah. like I said, just the opportunity to, you know, be able to talk to Matt, be able to talk to you guys, like, that's incredible to yeah. us. 
And I just, I felt bad because I keep going, Matt, 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 Matt. And I, I know Lexus is just as important to <laughs> oh, the project. Yeah, I understand that. I respect that. I just, again, I just, I have to clarify that for myself, just mm -hmm. for my own personal integrity, because I would never want to downplay someone's importance. Um, you know, when you're a partnership, one doesn't work without the other. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure I was throwing that out there to everybody that I understand, I respect, and I admire Alexis, what she does and how important she is. So just wanted here, to get here. that out in the open real quick. So I didn't feel like <laughs> such a jerk for, for, to myself. Okay. So Jackson, let's start with you this time. What did you do to get into your character? Well, you know, I, I'd say the makeup certainly helped. Um, yeah. Getting, getting the whole vampire thing down uh really it, it just clicked you know what i mean like obviously we we play these these sort of classic monster type sure. characters but you know we're people playing them for halloween right so mm -hmm. i think what about all that blood that you were drinking though <laughs> Oh yeah, that, yeah. He's been. He was taking we, shots between takes. To talk about that. Oh, oh sorry. Am I giving oh, away your method <laughs> secret? Oh, no. no, 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 no. Uh, uh, we have to guys, cut, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have a little something here. Uh, sorry. Um, no, we, honestly, it was just. I didn't really need a lot of work to get into the character. One with the makeup, and two like we had mentioned, working together. It felt like Nahia, Darren, and I had worked together before. Mm -hmm. um, and at least had known each other before. So it felt like we were a group of friends and I think we were, and it just clicked like that. You know, it, mm -hmm. it, it the, the writing and the people involved just made it easy. So there wasn't a lot of prep work that I really needed to hit. Um, mm -hmm. But that's just sort of me, you know, sometimes I just sort of go into it and see what sticks and that's where Perfect. we are. Mm -hmm. yes. And from what I know, at least of Matt, um, they are very, very, democratic when it comes to sets and they always want other people's inputs and you know they understand and they know you're on this project to make it the best project you can you're not going to recommend something that's stupid you're not going to recommend something that's going to bring the quality of the film down so having somebody that's there willing to listen to your ideas and you know well let's try your take this way and then we'll try it this way and we'll mm -hmm. choose the best one that's very important when you're an actor to know that your directors and your writers and your producers have your back and trust in you to do the best scenes you can yeah absolutely so uh, what about you, Darren? Uh, besides, you know, all the brain eating, well, what did you do to get into your zombie character? Well, first, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> when I first stepped into the role, I asked myself, what would it be like if I were dead on the inside, but I still <laughs> moved like a normal person? It was... <laughs> That's brilliant. And, and this is my last time on the show. Myself. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I looked in the mirror and I said, Self, what would it be like? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, man, there, there's just so much common ground between, um, between myself and the character. It was where I basically started was, hey... What if I was like chilling at my friend's place and um and then uh horror shenanigans happen? Like how would I react? How would like what emotions would come to me and stuff like that? And then I just built it on there and then put on a little bit of zombie makeup, practice the zombie hands in the mirror every so often, <laughs> you know, put on Michael Jackson's thriller. And <laughs> um and then yeah, you basically got a nice zombie concoction. <laughs> Mm -hmm. that's awesome man and I, all i gotta say now is i want to see darren in a bathrobe in front of a mirror doing <laughs> oh man should have done that for Special feature should've... matt alexis please <laughs> yeah yeah if we were to reshoot it that would definitely be a critical <laughs> for shot sure. yeah put that's all awesome. the budget in that <laughs> <laughs> all right um uh, what about you nahia well um you know, with, with you getting into character of the witch, what was it like for you besides like getting kids to sacrifice? So I, I have to say, for starters, these two are being so unbelievably humble right now. I'm like, really, guys? Are you serious? Because I know it's been years, like literally years now at this point uh, since we've actually shot it and been on set. But I mean, um, Darren is... <laughs> He he honestly acted his ass off because and I, I know you mentioned you haven't seen the film yet and we're you're gonna see the trailer, but uh, his character is supposed to be completely 
inept in fight sequences, which this definitely has. And I don't know, for anyone watching or listening, Darren is actually like a wushu master. And so part of their direction was like, okay, pretend like you don't know how to fight. Meanwhile, <laughs> he's kicking ass on set. Yeah. <laughs> and as for Jackson, I mean, he's such a, I know he's very casual, like, oh, well, you know, it just, he's so um, cerebral with his questions, I guess is how I would describe it, where he's like, well, why, why do you think we have this connection? Like how far deep? And he asked a lot of questions, a lot of very pertinent actor questions. And as a fellow actor, like sharing a scene, it's so nice because it's like, oh, okay, yeah, we can actually collaborate and work together. So mm -hmm. I think that's what lent to like the three of us and Matt as well, since he's a character, the four of us having a genuine friendship between our characters and literally on set because we were able to just have complete open dialogues. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of my preparation for the character um, and also to the spirit of the, the collaborative nature of this film, I love filling in the blanks. When I receive this script, there's a lot of ambiguity, and uh, but which is great though, because there's a lot that as an actor, you get to kind of fill in yourself. Like, oh, what's my backstory that lends to furthering this plot? Mm -hmm. And so I kind of got to develop, you know, my own motives for things that I didn't necessarily need to share with these two or Matt and Alexis. It's just, I kind of had in my back pocket and I'm like, all right, this is what motivates this. And this is how this scene's going to progress. Yeah. And I feel like the three of us had a little bit of that going on before we went in so that even though our characters are literally named the vampire, the zombie, the witch, they are very uh, well-rounded, grounded people and not just, you know, archetypal concepts. Mm -hmm. So that I think, yeah, that that was that was my preparation. And then, like everyone said, working with everybody that was that came so prepared it never felt like there was a weakest link. So we all just kind of brought the same fervor. And I think that's what, you know, led to the success. Sure. Yeah. That did not go the way I thought it was going to go. When you were like, Darren, you know, he had to act like he couldn't fight. And he was so great on set at pretending not to. And Jackson kept getting his ass kicked by Darren. It was it was the craziest thing you've ever seen. Like, <laughs> You guys are lying. It would be an honor. <laughs> you were phoning it in. <laughs> And it's amazing because, and by the way, your fight style, that's really cool that you are educated in that because mm. I'm sure as an actor who would probably prefer to perform their own stunts, it's got to be a way for you to be um, a little bit more ahead of the game in fight sequences and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's, it's like a dance at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost like a ballet and you're able to orchestrate yourself. So, Darren, that's really, really impressive. And um, we actually want to talk about your, we know your character's names. Yeah. We don't want to spoil anything. But so, Darren, can you give us a little non-spoiler like list synopsis about your character? Oh, OK. Um, so my character's name is the zombie. And you know okay. how zombies are supposed to be the emotionless. Um, yeah, they're emotionless, trudging and uh, basically just the l absolute life of the party. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like I feel like my character, the zombie, is one of the most is is basically the opposite of that uh, of of what zombies live up to. He's a very vulnerable, emotional uh, person um, in in this story, and I think that's the core of the character. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Um, what about you, Nahia? What what can you tell us a little bit about the witch that is non spoiler? Oh, not spoilery. Okay, I have to pretend like I'm on a Marvel set right now. Okay, no right. spoilers. <laughs> yeah, not um, everybody dies. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's mayhem everywhere. Well, I mean, it's a horror. It's a it's a horror Halloween film. So yes, there is a lot of that. Yeah. Um, so I mean, and this, I swear this isn't a spoiler. Yeah. In a group of like you know, college age friends, where. Um, oh. you know, there's one female and the rest are all males. I'm basically the one that kind of like holds the shit together and goes, come on, guys, like, seriously, let's get it together. Actually think straight. And that's about as non-spoilery as I can be. I'm, I'm, I'm the mother of the group. Ha ha. Art imitates life. <laughs> Just kind of keeping everything contained as best I can. Like kind of that, that female. Hmm. Okay. I know someone. <laughs> Just I like, mean, someone has to do it, right? Someone just like that. Someone has to do it. What about you, Jackson? Can you give us a little bit about your character? Yeah, I think to sort of 
mirror Darren's point to of this vampire is sort of this like loud uh, sort of garish sort of fictional character and yet my character playing the vampire is sort of putting that on right just like I would put on the costume I'm trying to put on this sort of this brave outgoing sort of uh, demeanor but you can tell deep down that I don't really have those chops, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. It makes sense, because mm-hmm. we talk about, like, zombie outbreaks and shit like that, and people are like, man, if the zombies came, I'm like, bro, when I see a spider in my house, I want to burn it down. <laughs> yeah. What the hell do you think I'm going to do if there's 1,000 people running at me wanting to eat my brains? I'm yeah. done. I'm going to hold I'm... myself, and I'm going to kick. Go away. Stop it. Knock it off. Mm-hmm. Like that, that's what I'm going to do. So you, I thought you said you were going to be the survivalist, and like, oh, okay, <laughs> So, okay, so, so I have to. I have to be the hunter. Be, I would be the survivalist, and by that I mean I would be the guy that locks himself in his basement. Like I'm surviving down here, and then like <laughs> 25 minutes later, like I didn't bring any water. <laughs> no, like that would be me. I'd be the guy in Zombieland that goes around looking for a Twinkie and can only find um, the snowball. The snowball. The snowball. Yeah. <laughs> that, it's not the taste; it's the consistency. So, um, we <laughs> talked about it a couple times, guys. But now we are going to play not one but both of the trailers for Islene Pines for you guys to check out. It's the really last Halloween that we all got together. Yep. Mm. And the year before that. It's me and Mrs. We're going to head out to that killer costume party that everyone will not shut up about from the day we moved in. You talk a lot. This is pretty getting here, by the way. Yeah. I thought you were all coming together so we could get out sooner this time. Last year we were late. I'm sure they're just moments away, though. In case I forgot to mention one other thing. He's so weird. So weird. See, my concern is getting both of you signed up for my costume contest because you both look fabulous, let's be honest. You um, think you'll win wearing that? Trick or treat. Happy Halloween, neighbor. Something is up around here. I mean, something strange is going on. Uh, you should... You should seriously consider leaving here, too. It's... it's not safe. What exactly happened? I don't feel very good. You're gonna make sure I'm signed in, right? Just be calm. I'll be right back. Are you okay? I don't even know what that is. I want my costume colors this time. I see the three of us head to the door, bolt out of there to my car, and get the fuck out of here. Don't forget to sign up for plug <laughs> So you see, guys, not one, but two different trailers of the upcoming film. So we want to talk a little bit about your experience on set. Jackson, do you want to tell us how your experience was? Honestly, the sets that Matt and Alexis and Matt Leal like bring together are just incredible. Like the the cast, obviously, I mean, come on, great choices there. But <laughs> uh, all of the crew is just so nice and so thoughtful. Um, and that obviously extends, you know, all the way up and down the ladder. Like Nahia, you had mentioned the collaboration that Matt and Alexis just like, you know, they live off of basically. And, and it's so 
comforting, I guess you could say that it's, it, it, it just makes it easy. It makes everything easy. Like even the hardest, most difficult physical or emotional scenes, they just, it just feels so easy because everybody's so friendly and so accommodating and so nice that, yeah, I mean, I, I can't wait to work with everybody again because yeah. I just love it. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and especially, like you said, I love the fact that you're quarterbacking right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you're giving props to your linemen, you know. Um, and I love that because it doesn't matter if you're a key I don't grip. Like that analogy. <laughs> can you, can you do an analogy? <laughs> um, you know, it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're a cameraman, whether you're a key grip, whether you're doing stuff in post with editing, it, mm -hmm. everybody has a spot and everybody is very important. So I love the fact that, you know, you're giving a lot of the behind the scenes importance of the people that we love to talk to actors and actresses. We love yeah. to talk to directors and writers. I love talking to cameramen. I love yeah. talking to wardrobe. I love that. I love talking to set designers, being able to pick their brains, uh, musicians, composers, very mm -hmm. important to films and learning how all these things come together to make these films that we love. And especially mm -hmm. during the unfortunate thing that happened that we can't talk about because they'll take money away from us. Um, during that, horror helped to keep the world alive you know, streaming mm -hmm. services, you guys were doing it responsibly and everybody was doing the right things to make sure everybody was safe. And we were still getting entertaining films that we could watch while we were at home. And that's why streaming services blew up the way they did. Yeah. And that is the hard work of not just you guys, because you guys do work your asses off. Like I said, the quarterback still got to make the throw, but without mm -hmm. the linemen there to keep the defense away from you, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate the fact that you're giving all the flowers to everybody involved. That's really, really amazing. Absolutely. Darren, would you say your experience is, is, you know, similar, like, did you have a good experience? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. It was, it was one of the most pleasant sets that I've been on. Um, everyone was super chill down to earth. Nobody was like, um, yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't any stress at all. And, um, that's definitely a key factor to making a very healthy, um, set atmosphere because once like, once people start freaking out, it gets pretty infectious. So um, there was none of that. Everyone was just super happy to be there and working, um, and working on uh, this creative vision between us. Yeah, and as Jackson said, every single person on there—the um, director of photography, grips, the directors, um, Alexis with the prosthetics, um, mm -hmm. um, Sky with the makeup and stuff—it was yeah everyone everyone was just such a pleasure to work with that's awesome yeah it, it, like i said when you have a family oriented mm -hmm. set we hate to say when you go to work you work with your family because i feel like family is the most important thing in the world and yeah. a job should be a job but when you go and you have that family type of atmosphere where everybody like cares job. about everybody you don't mm -hmm. feel like you're at a job you you're feel not like dreading. you're ready Wait, right. Like, oh, great. I have to go to set today. Like, you right. don't dread it. I get to go hang out with some people that I consider close friends that I would do anything for. And that's special right. that you guys have gotten. That's why we started doing this. We wanted to make these connections with people that were horror oriented and good people that we could just become friends with and learn about their lives and how important it is behind the scenes to make these movies come together. Mm -hmm. So uh, what about you, Nahia? What, how was your uh, experience on set overall? This is the perfect segue and just so appropriate. So piggybacking on family. I mean, you have to take into consideration the the time frame that I shot this. Um, so I was cast, and we had talked about this pre-pregnancy, and then I became pregnant, and I was like, "No, guys, I can still do it." So by the time we were actually doing principal photography, I had a four-month-old at home, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I, I think I, I was the only parent on set. But working with Matt and Alexis and everybody else, they were so unbelievably understanding. And I'm a first-time mom, so mm -hmm. I was kind of. In the trenches, definitely, yeah. but they were so, like my co-stars were all so giving, understood. Like I had to go, I had to take pump breaks. I mean, yeah, yeah. so for, for, anybody, for anybody who doesn't have children, <laughs> when, you, when you're a mom and right after giving birth, you definitely have to relieve some pressure. Oh yeah. Um, otherwise it makes for a very uncomfortable scene. Uh, so <laughs> I essentially had to be very visceral with Matt and Alexis and like, hey guys, so every couple of hours, I definitely have to step off uh, for 15, 20 minutes and take care of some things and then hurry home, et cetera. And it just, it, it worked, it gelled. I had heard horror stories from other sets where uh, women were very apprehensive about talking to directors and letting them know that, hey, I have a family back home. I have a young one back home. Um, and I've heard stories of people just not caring. And they're like, all right, well, we won't cast you or we're going to drop mm -hmm. you or we don't yeah. care about your schedule essentially. 
And this was honestly the complete opposite of that. They were so incredibly giving and uh, very understanding. It led to some hysterical moments. And I'm going to share one anecdote. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Please, please tell me they had a clapper that said booby break. Please. You know what we had break. to do for the booby break, actually. So we uh so I teach my son sign language since he's you know he's not speaking yet. So yeah. uh we taught him sign language from an early uh, from an early age, and so he signs milk when he wants milk. Mm -hmm. So with Matt and Alexis, I would just give them the milk sign and they knew that I would have to go into another yeah. room and pump. So I would just be there and they're like, oh, okay, and he has to step away. <laughs> But the so the anecdote that I'm giving is that again I'm trying not to give out spoilers, but there was uh, there is one scene where there might be a, a bit of a blood gag. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just a minor one. Totally just small, little. Yeah, not not a big deal. And uh, so that was one day where we happen to be running a little bit behind. And so as soon as they you know wrap the day, I was like, all right, I got a beeline at home not even worry about getting out of wardrobe or, you know, rinsing off or anything. And I had my husband's truck, which is in his name. Mm -hmm. So I hauled ass home in a truck that wasn't registered to my name, covered in a little bit of blood. <laughs> and, I'm oh, just no. and I'm, you know, trying to hurry up because I know I have a baby at home. And I'm just thinking if a cop pulls me over right now, what the hell am I saying? Like, <laughs> I gotta get home to my baby. No, this isn't my truck. No, this, right. no, this isn't my blood. So, I mean, <laughs> you, you have a body in the back. This car is registered to a uh, Mister. Uh, yeah, yeah. You see, he's here. Honestly, I gotta yeah, go. It's okay. This is his truck. Don't worry about it. I need to get going. So it was. It was such a comedy of errors. But that's the. That was. I mean, and we were talking about earlier, like when you go to work, you work with your family. They honestly created such a sense of family that even with a real family at home, I didn't like it, I wasn't super stressed about leaving my baby behind. Like yeah. they were so welcoming and so warm. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I get to go create art and then go back home and be a mom. Yeah. And it never felt like both of those roles were at odds, which is so paramount to me. And I'm sure paramount to a lot of, you know, yeah. Working mom actresses out there, like it's yeah, it's it's tough as shit. I'll admit that, <laughs> but when it when it works, it's it's so awesome. It's beautiful and rewarding in literally every single aspect. I'm so happy you had that experience. Yeah. That's that's amazing. Well, I mean, believe it or not, it's not 1692 anymore, and uh, it's crazy. Like women, the craziest things I'm learning. Like women can like vote and like have a <laughs> voice. It's and crazy. like it's the craziest things in the world, and that is heretic um, talk. <laughs> yeah, I know misogynists would never. There, there's a reason they made her a witch. Like, oh, she's got to have her own schedule. Witch. She's a Seriously, witch. Seriously, that's right. Burn her, drown her. Does she <laughs> float? Is she made of wood? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. And again, it's, it's very special to be able to learn about sets like that because, mm -hmm. especially with indie horror, um, it is a family. You know, and you know the the way that people treat each other, you make these connections, and it doesn't matter if you're out west, if you're out here east, you know everybody, and you really, really, you, whether it's from film festivals or podcasts, you really learn a lot about everybody, and they become a part of you because of the knowledge that you've learned about them, and you guys are so special to us, mm -hmm. you know, because. People could say, oh, it's acting. It's acting. Actors need to stick to themselves. No, you do have an influence and you need to use your influence for positivity and to be able to spread positivity like this about how important it was on set for you to still be a mother and have booby breaks, trademarked by Ken. Um, that, I think, is so amazing because, like you said, babies have to eat. Like, that's just a fact. It's a mm -hmm. fact of life. You know, we need money to support them or we need booby breaks to support them. And the fact that they were so willing to let that happen, because I know it can be hard sometimes mm -hmm. when you're in character to be like, okay, now we need to take a 20 minute break and sizzle. But the fact that everybody was willing to stay around and, you know, stay in that moment, that's amazing. Like Absolutely. I said, that's real life. And this movie, you can get, you can, you can earn your way back into character. But in a moment like that, it's, it's impressive. So we got one question left for each of you. Mm -hmm. You want to ask our boy Darren here? What can we expect out of this film? Non spoiler. Non spoiler. Please. Oh, that is a great question. A little open ended. <laughs> um, yeah, we can. You can expect um some interesting twists and turns. You can expect okay. some um. You can 
you can expect some crazy shenanigans. Um, okay. there is there are some there are some choices that my character does that uh that will raise some eyebrows. Um <laughs> not necessarily in like the typical horror sense where it's like what are you doing? Go to the basement, what did you do? Well, actually <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that I don't. Not spoiler, Darren. <laughs> not, not, not necessarily. I'm, I'm going to leave it open ended. Now, now, no one, now, no one can know. No one can expect my next move. <laughs> now, yeah. Now they're invested. Now they're going to watch you. Be like, when's he going to go in the basement? Yeah. We yeah, when's, he, going the basement. when's he? When's he going to do the next stupid thing? <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> what about you, Naya? What, what can we expect? What is your expectation out of the film? And what, what are some of the things that you can give us, spoiler free, about the upcoming film? So I, I will say the through line of this film is that it's a group of people in a fight or flight scenario. And whatever you think they're going to do, they may or may not do. And where you think <laughs> the direction is going to go, it may not necessarily go in that direction. It may go in a completely other wacky, outrageous direction. And that's kind of what makes you so vested. It's not to the point where like, oh, this is com going completely off the rails. I'm no longer interested. The sure. fact that there are so many twists and turns is, I think, what keeps you glued to your seat and like, oh, I want to see what happens next. Like, oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. And uh, right. yeah, it's uh, like credit to the filmmakers for for just keeping it along. And and I mean, I don't know about the two of you guys, but I honestly felt that way when I first laid eyes on the script. When yeah. I was going through it, I was like, oh, my God, like, whoa, this is yeah. awesome. The fact that, you know, it it just kept it keeps giving more. As yeah. as the film goes on, there's never a time where it's stagnant. It's very it's nail biting throughout. So I, that's what that's what audiences can expect. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. How about you, Jackson? Not least, but not last. I'm last sorry. but not last. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what are you? Uh... You know, I you think got your vampire trance on her. She's like, uh, she's like the girl in front of right now yeah. in front of the mirror yeah. trying yeah. to dance. I My still hair. have the teeth, actually. I could go grab those. Uh, I still have them. Hey, hey, slow um, down, buddy. She's taking she's for her, okay? <laughs> Easy there, Twilight. <laughs> I know. I'm sure um, you've died every day waiting for her, okay? <laughs> yes. Man, you know, this movie is really like... Like Nahia said, they put a brick on the gas pedal and just let this thing go. Like, mm -hmm. it just goes and goes and goes. And I think that is really, I think that's what you can expect. It, it just amps up, amps up. And it's just a lot of fun. Like, any good independent horror should be, it's it's fun. You know, right. it's got the scares. It's got the goofs. It's got everything, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I, I think you're in for a treat. Awesome. Yeah. And we can't wait to see it, guys. I know, I'm but excited. Unfortunately... All good things must come to an end. And now, guys, we are at the end of the third act. The credits are about to roll and the curtain's about to drop. But before that happens, we have all their social media links down in the description. So make sure you're following them on social media so you can become a part of their family. You can learn what they have coming up in the future. Because, again, this isn't a one and done. Yeah. They're going to keep working their asses off to give us amazing films. So That's make sure right. that you're following them on social media. I also have the website for Islean Pines. So that way it is streaming, but we do... Also, want to share with you guys, we are going to be getting physical media releases. So by following them on social media, by checking out the website, you'll be able to learn when you can get your hands on a copy of the physical media because Netflix can't come in and take Isley and Pimes off your shelf when you're done with mm -hmm. it. So that's why we still love physical media and all the special features that are going to come along with it. So make sure you're following them on social media. Gang, please don't go anywhere. We have a couple more questions for you. Um, everybody else, if you haven't already, Please like and subscribe. It helps us to build the channel more than you know. And follow Sledgehammer Horror on social media. Our links are in the description as well. But until next time, keep talking horror. Stay who you are. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.